بالله وبسلة رسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ودعاء إلى الهدى ودلالة على الخير وابتغاء وجه الله ومرضاته وقربه وثوابه سبحانه وتعالى وبعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي وبعد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما صلاة تفتح لنا أبواب الرداء وتيسير وتغلق بها أبواب الشر وتأثير أنت مولانا فنعم مولا ونعم نسير وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Last week we spoke about the Antichrist Ad-Dajjal the false messiah who will come forth and he will lead many people astray so keep him with that in mind and keep in the same um, topic going inshallah we will move on now to discuss Imam Al-Mahdi alayhi salam to aaj ki guftagu inshallah Imam Al-Mahdi alayhi salam ke bare mein hogi and it's important to know about Imam Mahdi alayhi salam because although this hadith itself is not a proof for us but it is enough to just bring about a reminder in our minds about what we should know about the Mahdi alayhi salam Imam Suyuti rahimallahu ta'ala he records in his Habil al-Fatawa from Jabir ibn Abdullah who narrates from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that whoever denies the coming of Dajjal he has surely committed disbelief and whoever denies the coming of Mahdi alayhi salam he has committed disbelief as well so is hadith ke mutabik Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam farma rahi hai ke jo bhi Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam ka inkar karega wo uska iman chala jayega lekin hum is pe we can't act upon this alone because we know that there has to be an established qat'i evidence for there to be kufr. Now, when you look at the narrations of the Mahdi, there are approximately 500 hadith. Now, these are not 500 hadith alone. 500 hadith are Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam ki matabi. But many of these, they link up as part of a more lengthy hadith. Why? Because it may be the case that some of the Sahaba that were relating it, they were there from the beginning and then they left. Others came in the middle and they left. Others only came towards the end and they only caught the end part of it. So it all links all back to a similar hadith. So it's not 500 hadith separate. Now, some of these hadith are what we call Sarih Gayru Sahih. Those which mention the Mahdi alayhi salam specifically. Dinka khas mention hai, likha hua hai, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam ka naam, ye da'if mein shamar hote hai. They are weak hadith. Because they don't reach the level that they should be reaching. But those which are indicative of the Mahdi alayhi salam, where Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is not specifically mentioned, they are known as Sahih Ghair Sarih. So you have the two categories there. Now if you look at these hadith together, and in, in Kitab al-Fitan of, of uh, Imam Naim ibn Hamad, there will be three Mahdis. Three Mahdi honge. Do Qa'im me se hain. Qa'iman yo pehle aayenge. They will be the forerunners to the Mahdi, two of them. Then you have the main Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam who will come at the end times and will establish what is to be established before him one of the Mahdi's is mentioned that he will be the Mahdi of Sudan now the Mahdi himself the word Mahdi means the one who is rightly guided now this individual can be rightly, either rightly guided by Allah or he is that individual who is guided upon the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in one hadith the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentions that the four Khulafa, he describes them as the Mahdi, meaning what? The ones who are rightly guided. But this does not mean that Sayyidina Ali or any of the other Khulafa or the Mahdi which has been prophesied. In the Mustadrak of Imam Hakim, Sayyidina Umm Salama mentions that she heard the Prophet mention the Mahdi. He وسلم, said, Yes, Mahdi is the truth. Yani, Wohaka. Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam, wo aayenge. And he will be the, from the family of Fatima. 
سیدہ زہرہ فاطمہ کے آہل میں سے ہوں گے میننگ وہ he will be a سید from the progeny of سیدنا امام حسن امام حسین ابن ماجہ there's a hadith there from سیدنا عنیس ابن مالک which narrates that I heard the messenger of Allah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم saying we the children of عبد المطلب will be the chiefs of the people of paradise that is myself Hamza Ali Jafar Hassan Hussein and Al-Mahdi alayhi salam so he specifically mentioned them in the collection of Imam Muslim Sayyidina Jabir ibn Abdullah when he said that the time is near when neither dinars nor grain will be brought to the natives of Syria now when you look at these narrations ان سے پتہ چلتا ہے جو ہمارے محول میں جو کچھ ہو رہا ہے نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ہمیں پہلے بتا دیا تھا he's saying what he's prophesying he's telling us what is going to happen towards the end times dinars money gold what all grain will not be brought to the natives of Syria just have a look at what's happening in Syria around you now for those who think that we are not in the end times they've got their heads buried in the sand and they need to take it out otherwise they're going to be in for a rude awakening when it all comes up we asked who will impose the restriction Jabir ibn Abdullah said the Romans then he kept quiet for a while and said Allah's messenger has said that a Khalifa i.e. the Mahdi will appear in the last days of my Ummah and he will give wealth in vast quantities without keeping a record of it خوب دولت باندھی جائے گی سیدنا امام حدیع علیہ السلام سے in the conditions according to the sahih ain امام حاکم in his mustadik relates that the messenger of Allah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said the day of judgment will not come until the earth is filled with tyranny exploitation and rebellion look around you do I need to say more it's filled with rebellion نہ انصافی پورے ملک میں پوری دنیا میں پھیلی ہوئی ہے لیٹر ای پرسن دا مہدی ول بی بورن فرام مائی چلڈرن ہو فل دی ارتھ ود جسٹس اینڈ ایکوٹی سینا مہدی علیہ السلام پھر آئیں گے اور انصاف پھیلا دیں گے جسٹ ایز اٹ واز فیلڈ ود ٹیرنی اینڈ ریبیلین پرائر ٹو ہز کمنگ ان دا کلیکشن آف امام ترمیدی اینڈ ابو داود اینڈ ادرز ریلیٹڈ Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said The world will not cease to exist until someone from my family becomes the king of Arabia Meaning who? The Khalifa Whose name will be the same as my name So here we have got a description, the first one now Mentioning that Sayyidina Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, his name will be Muhammad Then the Prophet ﷺ gave us a description of the Mahdi alayhi salam. Unki paydash Medina mein hogi. Say the Mahdi alayhi salam, he will be born in Medina. He will then migrate to Makkah. And then from Makkah, he will migrate until he stops at Al-Quds, Jerusalem, and he settles there. In Tabarani's Mu'jum al-Kabir, Khayfmi's Majma' al-Zwa'id, Abu Umama narrates that the Messenger of Allah ﷺ said, There will be peace between you and the Rome four times. And the fourth time the leader of the Romans will be a person belonging to the children of Heraclius. The peace will last seven continuous years. It was asked to the Messenger of Allah, who will the Imam of the Muslims be at that time? Ke Muslimano ka Imam koon hoga? اس سے پتہ چلتا ہے کہ امام مسلمانوں کا ہونا بہت ہی ضروری ہے اٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ فار دیٹ ٹو بی اے لیڈر آف دا مسلم نوٹ امام لائک می سٹ ان مسجد این ایکچوئل امام اور رائٹلی گائیڈ امام ہو از لیڈ ان دی اما دس از وائی ہی ایس دا کوشچن ہی ریپلائی دیٹ پرسن ول بی فرام مائی چلڈرن اینڈ ہی ول بی فورٹی ایئرز آؤٹ His face will be bright like a star and there will be a black mole on his right cheek. His teeth will be spread, slightly spread out with a gap in the middle two teeth. Clear descriptions we are getting off Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. He will be dressed in two white kufan 
material gowns telling us what that he will be a simple man he will not be dressed in jeans and a t-shirt and joggers and a suit he will be returning back to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will be built like the bani israel but his complexion will be of the arabs meaning he will be broad because the bani israel if you just see the description of sayyidina musa alayhi salam they were broad shouldered more than the arabs but his complexion in skin will be like the arabs sayyidina imam mahdi alayhi salam he will rule for 10 years he will discover treasures from beneath the earth and conquer the cities ruled by the mushrikeen his noise will be pointed and high and aquiline nose and his forehead will be bright and shining in this narration it mentions he will rule for eight years now unki hukumat jiske baare mein hum baat kar rahe hain mukhtalif rawayat hain ek mein kaha hai paanch saal फिर छह साल सात साल नौ साल आठ साल दस साल बीस साल तीस साल और चालीस साल ऑल ऑफ दीज डिफरेंट नरेशन ऑन हिज रूल फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी नदी लुक था दिस एंड देव सेट बिकॉज दी नॉन मुस्लिम लुक आ दिस एम बिला वीव गॉट यू डिस्क्रेपेंसीज इट्स नॉट डिस्क्रेपेंसी वेन यू लुक एट दीज द नंबर्स दर गिवन differ according to what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was referring to some of them he's referring to the duration of the life of sayyidina imam mahdi alaihi salam some are referring to how long his rule will be some are referring to how long it will take him to overcome a particular area some are referring to his rebuilding of certain areas some are referring to his establishing of justice Another explanation that the ulama give is that it is just a reference to a large portion of time because time as we understand will be disrupted during those times why kyunki imam mahdi alaihi salam pehle aayenge phir dajjal aayega wo ek dusre ke barabar time mein same waqt mein wo dono hazir ho jayenge they will be both there at the same time So if you look at Dajjal the hadith mentions one day will be like a year one day will be like a month one day will be like a week so you see there is a disruption of time occurring so what this is referring to is the same thing because of what Sayyidina Imam Mahdi alayhi salam will actually um do in this short period of time it's impossible for him to do it So what we are seeing here is an extension of time. Wallahu a'lam on that. Ibn Majah from Musnad and in Musnad Imam Ahmad, Sayyidina Ali relates that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The Mahdi will be from my family, and Allah will straighten his affair overnight." Allah tabarak wa taala Mahdi alaihi salam ko rato rat yar kar denge. Meaning what? through his guidance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise him to the highest levels of sainthood overnight just like you see with sayna bishr al hafi right overnight allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes a drunkard and makes him from his awliya imam hakim in his mustadrak and imam ibn hamad in his kitab of fitan relate from sayna abu sa'id al khudri that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned a great test that will face this ummah a time will come when oppression will be at such a peak that muslims will not be able to find any refuge look around you islamophobia is rife it's just going to get worse it's not going to get better it doesn't matter if denmark now how or is it sweden have put out a ban on quran burning that doesn't mean nothing whilst they've done that france have banned the jalabiya of the sisters whatever is happening in india is still going on india has just referred their name back to bharat removing india why for those of you who are familiar with the end of times and i've mentioned this before ghazwal hind 
they're setting it all up it's all dominoes falling into place into place one by one you just need to wake up and realize what's in front of you then Allah will raise someone from amongst, amongst my children who will fill the earth with justice all those living in the heavens and the earth will be pleased with the Mahdi alayhi salam the earth will produce as much as possible and Allah will pour down torrential rain from the sky the Mahdi will live in this era prosperity will be on such a high that people at the time will wish that only if those who had passed away before them were alive to see that now in the Ulset of Imam Tabarani, a person will stand and say, O oh Mahdi, give me something. The Mahdi will say, take it yourself. That person will go to the Bayt al Mal, to the treasury, and he will take as much as he wants. This is how much wealth there will be for the Muslim under Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. The Prophet sallallahu said, a man will come from my family. His first name is the name as my name, Muhammad. His father's name will be the same as my father's. Unke walid ka naam bhi mere walid ke naam ke barabar hoga. Yani ke Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Then after the Caliphate of the Mahdi, there will be a total end to goodness. There will be no one salih remaining after that. Some signs before the appearance of the Mahdi, and these you can refer to uh, Ibn Hamad's Kitab al Fitan and Imam Siyuti's um, Habil al Fatawa. Kaab has narrated a comet with a bright tail will appear from the east before the appearance of the Mahdi. Another sign Sharik has related I was informed that before the appearance of the Mahdi, there will be a lunar eclipse twice in the month of Ramadan. At that time, everyone will be talking about Mahdi's arrival and his love will be fed into them in such a manner that they will talk of nothing else but him. Sab Imam Mahdi alayhi salam ki baati hai karenge. Or Ramadan ke mehine mein do eclipse ho grange. Surat ka parda. Medina will be ruined. Now this may be a shock to you, some of you, but this has happened in the past. With Yazid, what he did um, to Medina after the events of Karbala, we've been through this. And then in the 1100s, it happened again. But Medina again, it will be ruined. It will be destroyed to the point, it won't be completely destroyed. Makkah, Medina will be completely destroyed at the end times when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows for it to. But it will be partially destroyed to the point where it will only be inhabited by wild animals. In the collection of Abu Dawood from Sayyidina Mu'adh ibn Jabal, the Prophet ﷺ said, he gives us a timeline. The flourishing state of Jerusalem, Al-Quds, meaning when it will return back to the Muslims, because it can't be flourishing until... Until Islam is prevalent. That will only happen when Medina is in ruins. The ruined state of Medina will be when the great war comes. The outbreak of the great war will be at the conquest of Constantinople, comma day Istanbul. Meaning what? We take from this that Istanbul will be taken over by non-Muslims once more. And the Muslims will go to reconquer it. And the conquest of Constantinople will be when the Dajjal comes forth. So now you've got a domino effect. One by one, they will all take place. People will perform the pilgrimage together. They will perform the Hajj together. Or both the Hun Kharaba Hoga Hajj ke Doran. At Arafah, they will gather without the Imam. At Mina, during their descent, a people will pounce upon them like a dog pounces on somebody. The tribes will then pounce on one another. They will kill one another until the entire valley of Mina begins to flow with blood. In this worried state, the people will go to the best person amongst them to seek refuge. 
پناہ ماننے کے لیے سب سے افتل دو شخص ان میں سے ہوگا اس کے پاس جائیں گے ہی وہ بی کرائن ود اس فیس ٹوچ ان دا کعبہ دا نریٹ سیز اٹ از از اف آئی ایم لک ان آئی ہز ٹیز نا سو دے ول ریکویسٹ ہم پلیز کم وی وانٹ ٹو ٹیک بے آ ود یو وی وانٹ ٹو گیو این اوس آف لوئلٹی ان یور ہینڈ سم سے دس ول ٹیک پلیس دا بے آ آن دا ٹینتھ آف محرم سم سے ول بی آن دا ڈے آف عرفا اور آن دا ڈے آف ٹینتھ آف دل ہجا ان دا مصنف آف ابی شیبہ is mentioned that Mahdi will come forth when Nafs Zakiya is murdered. Those in the heavens and the earth will be angry with the murder of Nafs Zakiya. Upon this, the Mahdi will appear. Now Nafs Zakiya, there was one individual who fought and rebelled against Al-Mansur in 145 after Hijri. It's not referring to him. It's more than likely going to be a Wali at the t- towards the end times towards the coming of Mahdi Thoban narrates another sign three persons will war- wage war near your treasure all three will be sons of the Caliph and yet this treasure will not be transferred to any one of them there's someone in charge right about now who has three th- sons Allahu Akbar then the black flags will appear from the east کالے جنڈے اٹھیں گے عیسٹ سے دے ول ویج وار آن یو وتھ سچ انٹینسٹی دیٹ نو نیشن ہیڈ ویج وار ود دیٹ اگریشن بفور دین دا پروفیس صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ وین پیپل سی ہم یو شوڈ ٹیک دا بے آ ود ہم ایون اف یو ہیو ٹو کم ڈرگ ان یور سیلوز اوو سنو ان ڈیڈ ہی ول بی دا خلیفہ آف اللہ دا مہدی علیہ السلام Now, the black flags, the Kale Jande, who are they? It's not ISIL, it's not the people that came before. These are the real black flags. The real black flags, we are given clear descriptions of them. Ibn Hibban, Musnad Imam Ahmad. A section of my people will not cease fighting for the truth till the day of resurrection. It ta'ifa hogi, it grow hoga. Jo hamesha lartte rahenge haq ke liye. Hatta yawm al-qiyamah tak. These will be known as Ta'ifa Mansura, the helped group. In the Tirmidhi's collection and the Musnad Imam Ahmad, they will emerge from Khurasan, black banners which nothing will repel until they are set up in Ailiyah, which is Al-Quds, Jerusalem. Now Khurasan, as I mentioned last week, there are two. There's one in Iran. There's another in common day, Afghanistan. Now we know it's not going to be Iran because look at who the leaders are. It's highly unlikely it's going to be from there. But we have other indications that it's going to be from Afghanistan. One mentions that the black flags will come forth from Sijistan, which used to be the name of Afghanistan. Abu Huraira relates in another hadith, a group from my ummah, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, a group from my Ummah will continue to fight at the gates of Jerusalem and its surroundings, at the gates of Antioch and its surroundings, at the gates of Damascus and its surroundings, and at the gates of the Caucasus, i.e. Talikan, manifesting the truth. They will not be concerned about those who betray or support them until Allah's treasure emerges from Talikan, which is where Conan Day, Afghanistan. And they will revive the religion just as it was dead before. That's recording Mukhtasar Tariq Dimesh. Then there will be another sign of the black flags. There will be an individual who is reviving them. He will be known as Al Harith and he will be a Hashimi. He will battle the Sufiani at the time. At the head of his army will be a man from the Banu Tamim. He will be stocky and built with a small beard. His name will be Shuwaib Saleh At-Tamimi. He will come out with 5,000 men and he will pave the way for the Mahdi alayhi salam until he hands over the leadership to him. Now the Bayah. In Musnad, Abdul Razak, in Musannaf Ibn Abi Shayba, Tabrani is also 
and Abu Dawood in his Sahih. They narrate a hadith from Sayyidah Umm Salima, the wife of the Prophet Sallallahu who says that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Wasallam said, at the death of a Khalifa, of a ruler, there will be a difference of opinion, i.e. between the Muslims of who to elect as the Khalifa. One person who is the Mahdi alayhi salam, he will realize that the people may choose me. So he will flee from Medina to Mecca. This is where his migration starts. When he arrives in Mecca, some of the residents will recognize him and they will bring him out of his home against his will. This home will be near Mount Safa. They will then take the oath at his hands between the black stone and the station of Maqami Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now, there are two narrations here. One mentions that seven of the elite ulama will recognize him. They are the ones that will take bayah with him first. And then they will act as the khalifas of the Mahdi and they will take the bayah for the Mahdi alayhi salam from those same number as those who participated in the Battle of Badr, which is 330. Now the army, the Abdal from the Syria, the 40 Abdal and the saints of Iraq, they will take the oath of the Mahdi alayhi salam at his hand. Later, a Qurayshi, who is the Sufyani, whose maternal relatives will be from the Qalb tribe, he will send an army of 360 odd horses out towards the Mahdi alayhi salam to go and find out what's going on to fight him. Sufyani is known as Urwa. His father's name will be Muhammad and he will have the kunya Abu Utla. He will be from the children of Khalid ibn Yazid ibn Abi Sufyan. He will be a short man from Damascus and he will have a mark on his face. He will be a zalim, he will be a tyrant. He will kill women and he will kill children. The Sufyani will set out himself then with an army where he will be joined by the Gulf tribe with 30,000 more people. They will set out from Syria to wage war on the Mahdi alayhi salam. However, before they reach Mecca, when they arrive at a treeless place, a desert, which is known as al Bayda, This is approximately two kilometers from Masjid Zul Khulaifa. This is a Miqat point. This is also where the Treaty of Hudaybiyah took place. Right, so it's sometimes known as Masjid Shadra. When they arrive approximately two kilometers here, all 30,000 at once, they will all be swallowed up by the ground. The ones at the front will not know what's happened to the back. The ones at the back will not know what's happened to the front. Allah will cause the ground to completely swallow them at once. Then there will be, after this, the Mahdi alayhi salam, he will generously donate wealth to the people. Now the Mahdi alayhi salam, he will remain as a Khalifa for seven or nine years. And he will die approximately at the age of 40. He will die on his bed. And the Muslims will attend his funeral. This is the Mahdi alayhi salam. Now briefly, we'll just touch upon this. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam and the Mahdi. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, he would descend at the time when Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam would descend. He would tell the people, your Imam will be from amongst you. Meaning they will, Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam, he will try to step back because he would descend when it is the time for prayer. Now it's mentioned that he would descend at Syria and then he will go to Jerusalem to the Mahdi alayhi salam. Then the Fajr time will be come in. The Iqama will be given for the Mahdi alayhi salam to lead the prayer. But Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam himself will not be the Imam. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam will say the Imam is to be Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Now Ibn Hajar al-Isqalani mentions with reference to 
Abu al Hassan al Buri's Manakib al Shafi, he writes that there are continuous traditions in its support and that Isa alayhi salam will offer one prayer behind the Khalifa Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Just one of these, Ibn Habban and the Muslim Imam Ahmad, the leader of the Muslims, yani the Mahdi, will say to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, common leaders in prayer, but Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam will say, no, some amongst you are leaders over others. This is the honor from Allah for this nation. Meaning because he is from the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is given the glad tidings and the honor of leading a Prophet that is Sayyidina Isa Alayhi Salaam in the prayer. So we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to allow us to be of those individuals who recognize the Mahdi Alayhi Salaam. And one of the ways that you will be able to recognize him is that he will be informed, the Jews will be informed that the Ark of the Covenant will emerge from the Tabriya Sea through the efforts of Sayyidina Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. It will be placed before him at the sacred house. On seeing this, all of the Jews will accept Islam except for a few. These are the signs of the Mahdi alayhi salam. This is how you can recognize him in person. So if you come across videos of people now claiming to be the Mahdi, just laugh, move on and continue preparing yourself for the Mahdi alayhi salam because it may be the case that he comes in our lifetime if you look around you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and allow us to be of those individuals who recognize him.